Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a fairly new deck um, called Soul's Journey Oracle Practical Epiphany for Personal Growth Cards. It was released uh, in December, so December 8, 2023, according to Amazon, and I'm recording this mid-March 2024, so it's been out about three months or so, not too long ago. Uh, practical Epiphany for Personal Growth. So I was just looking at the website, but yeah, it says the same thing here on the box. It's by Razuli, uh, a popular artist. Publisher is Blue Angel. Um, and also Llewellyn, according to Amazon's website, the side does have thumb hole cut out. There's a few pictures of the cards in the back. And a big, big shout out to Llewellyn Publication for sending this deck out to me to review. It is a hard case two-part box. Open it up, green, forest green inside. And typical uh, Blue Angel little touch with a little piece of paper to cover the guidebook there is a guidebook underneath there you go and we'll take a look at the guidebook more in depth after we look at the cards the cards are underneath and it's just uh, green inside white and then green top as I mentioned it is all right and we will look at the cards here on the backs very pretty gold there there you go you can see the gold more if i turn it towards the light the window there natural light it is reversible size are not gilded and it feels buttery it's papery but it feels buttery it's smooth all right and comparing it to a traditional Hay House tarot card size. It is taller and a little bit wider. So it's longer than a Hay House Oracle card size. If you're not familiar with Hay House Oracle card size, here's comparing it to a plaid back tarot. So a lot larger than a plaid back tarot card. All right. And let's go ahead and look at the cards. It does have a borderless feel, although there is one border at the bottom where the um, the title of the card or the phrase, and then they have a main phrase and then um, a smaller sub phrase underneath. So it looks like they're in alphabetical order. Yeah, so starting out, we have anointed with love. Let sweetness invigorate your life. Attend to your spiritual needs. Create a more prosperous life. Bass in nature. Breathe the scent of flowers. Beautiful. They look like paintings. Blessed assurance. Confidence conveys competence. Confidence conveys competence. Competence. Boundless potential. Look for sanctuary within you. Coping with grief. Turn loss into gain. Wow, that really captured her grief. That. Defeat doubt. Route the sit crit. Route the critic in the dark. Delightful intimacy. Tend the flowering of friendship. Looks romantic. Don't give up. Follow your vision boldly. Express your emotions. Speak from your heart and be free. Look at that beautiful blue. Very pretty. Face the unexpected. Uncertainty is the only certainty. Focus your vision. Be vigilant with your attention. Beautiful colors. Look at that pink and purple. A little bit of red. 
Follow your calling. Attend to your life's purpose. Free of attachments. Invite true love into your life. Let's zoom in a tad bit more. Grateful for life. Be thankful, be thankful for your gifts. Harmonize life. Align your inner and outer landscapes. Joy of generosity. Give and make room to receive. Let go of the past. Move forward with confidence. Life is opportunity. Live deeply centered in love. Love unites. Surrender to the attraction. Make work fun. Be positive about your work. Manage your time. Value your most precious asset. Move forward. Let love propel, propel you over hurdles. Nothing is perfect. Release perfection and strive for excellence. One thing at a time. Focus on a single purpose. Optimism. Choose trust over cynicism. Peace of mind. Seek satisfaction beyond frustration. Portal to success. Sow with love. Harvest with joy. Positive attitude, transform negative thoughts. Pursue your dream, have faith in your intuition. Reach the unreachable, turn your idea into reality. Redirect the fire, transform anger into creative power. Rejoice in love. Breathe in the fragrant beneath of life. Resolve the conflict. Pay deeper attention to differing opinions. Sacrament of the present. Experience every moment as it is. Shifting the blame. Accept others for who they are. Soulmate, embrace a deeper relationship. Stand in your strength, tap into the wellspring of your power. Stay in the flow, exult in the rhythm of life. The faithful way, let faith cultivate your motive. Time to play. Make space for merriment. I love the colors. Treasure of abundance. Rise higher. Reach for your spirit. Very pretty blues, too, in this deck. Virtue of humility. Control your ego and embody modesty. Welcome change. Revel in your renewal. So that's the last card. Here's another look at the back. So let's take a look at the guidebook really quick. So, zoom out a tad bit. Table of contents. Introduction. It's a selection from revelations and insight that have come to me as words and images from the unknown. My intuitive guidance has directed me to use them wisely and not only to my advan advantage. They are perfumed with love and presented here to enter the hearts that are open, are open to receiving. The oracle that comes to us as divine wisdom is not necessarily something to take in as knowledge. It is guidance to experience with faith. It is presented to us to cultivate our own ideas and visions. Once the oracle sparks an interest, it becomes an epiphany to awaken us for further personal growth. When we truly live what we feel and believe, every moment will bring us the joy of our own becoming. 
All right, so that gives you an idea from the author there, the creative process. Quite a bit of writing using the cards, card meanings. So you do get a small color picture of the card and what it means. And then a mantra, I welcome love and joy into my life and trust my heart to lead the way. So that's an example of the mantra for the first card. Yeah, so each card has a write up and then a mantra throughout the book. So total of 119 pages. There's other works by the same author, very pretty. Let's see here, about the creator. So there's a picture on the back with the write-up. Very beautiful, look at that, it's gorgeous. And then other works by the same author. All right, so that gives you an idea of the guidebook. Should we shuffle? Clear the deck. All right, so overhand shuffle I can do, I have to say with petite hands, it is a stretch. So it is a little bit uncomfortable because it's a stretch, but it can be done or you can just do it this way. It's not as much of a stretch vertically overhand and then we can do like this as well and then I'm going to make the deck a little smaller and see if we can riffle shuffle yep we can riffle shuffle all right so let's pull a card for the collective, message for the collective. What does this deck want to share with the collective? Message for the collective, please. What do we need to know at this time? What does the collective need to know at this time? I guess I'm gonna have to cut the deck. None of the cars are jumping out. So as I say that, two, three. We have let go of the past. Move forward. It kind of go hand in hand. What's underneath? Nothing is perfect and one thing at a time. Kind of go together. So I think I'm going to take those two since they, they were on the top. And uh, they kind of go together. So... Let go of the past. Let's do that. So. Let go of the past. Zoom in. All right. Move forward with confidence. The journey of life is not always a joyful ride. Sometimes it knocks us down to the ground for no good reason. It doesn't matter how unfair the punches are. Unless we let go of the disturbing memories, we cannot freely move forward with confidence. Lingering memories, especially stressful ones, are blocks that can bring our journey toward achievement to a halt. To be creative in life is to move freely toward the future without looking back unless it is for inspiration. You have to take a chance in your abilities and ideas and be willing to release wherever you, whatever you've done and whomever you were. Determination is the driving force that can guide you along new paths, open new doors, and lead you to discover extraordinary treasures that can cause your heart to overflow with wonder. Remember, your power comes from the source of all creation and is always available to you. You might lose many old ways and certain belongings from the past, but you will find and discover your true self. Even 
if you stumble, the willingness to persist will help you continue until you work yourself out of the difficulties. Be willing to claim full responsibility for your actions. Pursue your goals with love and never lose hope. By doing so, your perspective will change because you'll make use of the power of the present moment to build a better future. As you keep moving forward, every little step will lead you to the next stage until you have eventually reached your intended goal. Mantra, I accept my past without regret and I am ready to face my future fearlessly. All right, so some of us need to let go of the past. And then the next card was move forward. So it's easy to look up because it's in alphabetical order. So let's see what the move forward says. Move forward, all right. Let love propel you over hurdles. The soul's journey is about continuous growth and expansion. Bringing a dream into reality is often achieved by taking proper action to make it happen. Those who realize their ambitions keep pushing and trying new ideas if one does not work. They don't give up. They consider setbacks as challenges and opportunities for realigning their direction. The path is led by the heart using the energy that is created from loving what they do. When things don't seem to be working, it offers the potential to start a new approach with fresh ideas. Feeling hopeless at this point could easily lead to unhappiness and disappointment. This is when your imagination and the willingness to experiment are needed. Doing what you're truly passionate about and placing full attention and focus on it. It is a means of cultivating your desires. Your challenges will actually help you to become more aware of your own unique abilities to meet and solve them. When you truly follow your vision, you will touch the divine purpose for which you were born. You will move beyond smaller ideas of yourself and be able to expand your vision. By being more attentive, you will recognize and implement what is and isn't truly valu valuable for you. Mantra, I am overcoming my challenges to realize my dreams. So there you go. I think the message go hand in hand. Let go of the past and move forward. So some of us may be stuck in the past or looking back to the past. So that's the message. Move forward. Let the past go. All right. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy that walkthrough. It is a beautiful deck. Very, very deep. It's a good deck to use, uh, you know, as a draw, daily draw or after meditation or before meditation. Um, so as usual, if you guys are interested in it, I will put the links in the description underneath the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.